Welcome to Kaleidoscope Print from Hop2 Productions. Today we're going to make a kaleidoscope print. This is our finished product. A kaleidoscope print is made from one negative printed four times, two of which are backwards. So we're beginning with the assumption that we have made our first two enlargements. Now we insert tracing paper. Trace the frame of the easel. Hold on to the tracing paper because it may try to slip around. Once you have the frame traced, now trace everything in the image. Perhaps not everything, all the main lines would be sufficient. There we go. And now remove the tracing paper and flip it over. Now put that baby back into the easel. Line up the frame that you traced with the frame of the easel. And once you've got that precisely lined up, now take the negative carrier out of the enlarger open it up, take the negative out, and flip it emulsion up. So it was emulsion down, now it's emulsion up. So they will be backwards. Now hold on, let's do that one more time. Emulsion up. In order for it to be backwards. Beautiful. No, but really, that's very important. From emulsion down to emulsion up. All right, when you're putting it back in, it might be a little bit tricky getting the negative to lay flat since it is upside down, but I know you can do it. Once you get it straightened out, close the negative carrier, line things up, and slip back in that toaster. Excellent work. Okay. Next step, we're going to move the easel around until the image lines up with the projected image from the enlarger. Once you have that all lined up, we are ready to make our two backward prints. I don't know why I'm waiting so long here. So I will now open the easel. Take the tracing paper out. I don't need that anymore. Make sure that things are in focus still. Sometimes it gets knocked out of focus when you move the negative around. Once you ensure you're in focus, make two more prints. These are the four prints you should have. Two proper and two backwards. Trim the white edges off and then figure out which part you're going to have meet in the middle you should have four options. These are mine. They all look kind of cool, but the one that I like most was this one. And after I put it together, I noticed it kind of looks like a face. The eyes in the middle there, the little nostrils, and then the grain in the wood there of the uh, train trestle, whatever it might be, looks like it's a big mouth. Now that's awesome. So that's all we've got for you now. You know what it's time to do. Hop a tube.